What is up, everybody? The Hunter GT with TheHunterGT.com. That's right. Go check out the website. Got the rad metal detecting forum over there. Full of the rad dudes. We would love to have you. Come show off your finds. Talk shop with us. Don't be shy. TheHunterGT.com. Well, what is going on today? We are back out at the old park. Knocked a macro amphibio multi the detector of the day. 11 inch DD coil, three different frequencies, 5, 14, and 20 kilohertz. You want to pick one of these bad boys up? Who are you going to call? Heath Jones at Treasure Mountain Metal Detectors. He is my guy. You must let him know the Hunter GT sent you. And you're going to get free shipping. And you never know what sort of coupons and deals they got going on over there when you drop my name, the Hunter GT. That's right. So, got some big news, guys. I am going to be doing some live streaming, I think, every Monday. And then on Tuesdays, we're going to be doing like a metal detecting 101 type program. I'm going to be showing off like recovery speed, separation, unmasking, the definitions. Um, and we'll come up with something each week and discuss it for beginners, intermediate, advanced type stuff. Wednesday, we're going to be doing like random review type stuff. I get all these free products on Amazon, being a YouTuber, people from Asia and Europe and the United States and South America. They send me free stuff, not always metal detecting related, not always, some crazy random stuff. So I figure we're going to do like a random Wednesday review, something like that. I think there's room for it. Then on Thursday, probably like a hunt video. Friday, Saturday, Sundays, we're going to be doing the video game stuff over on the other channel. I'll probably do like two hunt videos, like maybe on a maybe on a day I don't stream or something, or maybe one day I don't have something to review, I'll throw in another hunt video on a Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. If I skip a 101, I'll throw in a hunt video, or maybe even on the weekend, something like that. But uh, yeah, there it is. I'm going to be doing weekly live streams, weekly random reviews, weekly detecting 101 videos, weekly hunt video. So I'm going to be doing like four or five videos a week. And then over on the video game side, I'm going to be doing live stream and some videos over there as well. So yeah, I'm going to be busy. If you're a fan of the Hunter GT, it is a good time to be alive. Without further ado, shut your face, the Hunter GT. Let's go find us some stuff with this here amphibio. All right, got a super shallow nickel here. Or nickel signal. Wait for the, I just turned the headphones off, that's why it says OF. There we go, solid 30. If I sweep wide, it's giving me 28 to 31, 27 to 32, roughly. And then if I really jiggle it, I get a nice 30, 31. One inch, really shallow. Let's see. Alright, that's Silver Range. That's a 1957 right there. I thought it was silver at first. When I pulled it out in the back, I was like, oh my god, is this a war nickel? No way. Because it, it kind of looks, I don't know, it has like that bluish silver hue to it. I know this, this is one of those action GoPro type action cameras, so it doesn't really bring it in. But, uh... Yeah, 1957 it says on there. It's red on the other side. If I saw that side, I'd know for sure. I'd be like, okay, that's definitely not silver. You see that red color, you know it's a nickel or a dime or something. But on the back side, not, no red. And it, on the building there, it's really, on the memorial building, it's really, I don't know. I thought it was silver at first, but I was fooled. On to the next. 57 though, I'll take it. Nice. Silver ring. All right, and then right next to it, about oh, six inches over, is a 65, I believe it says. It's either an 8 or a 6. I'd say either an 85 or a 65. I'm going to assume it's a 65 because it was deeper, actually. It was about 4 or 5 inches deep. Um, I, don't, I don't know, but that doesn't make sense because then the, the 57 one or whatever would have been deeper as well. And it was shallow. It was only like an inch deep. So, I don't know, maybe an 85. I can't tell. I've squinted and craned my neck in every way. Clad nickel. Alright, got a quarter signal here. 88, 89. 3-4 inches. Yeah, 
two inches right there. We'll see. Skeptical. Could be a bottle cap. Yeah, it was actually down there pretty good. It was like five inches down. I had to keep digging out and digging out and digging out there. So just a clad quarter and 85. But boy, this soil took a number on it. It's flaking like I have never seen a new coin do. I mean, old coin, yeah. But this one's flaking like it's an old turn of the century coin here. Look at the edges of it and everything. It's just peeling right off. There is some nasty fertilizer or something they sprayed right here. And here I am all touching it and rubbing it, right? Touch my eyes next, probably. Got a dime penny signal. Seventy-nine, seventy-eight. Two inches down. Well, let's find out. All right, a wheat penny. 1940 or 48. I can't tell if it's a zero or an eight. This area of the park really is rough on coins, I've noticed. Yeah, just about every coin I've dug here is flaking and just pitted and really nasty over here on this side. Whatever fertilizer they used here years back or recently is just really doing a number on it. Wheat Penny, 1940-something or other. 68 dime. Oh, so agonizing. Only four years off. Only four years. Quarter signal. One inch. Super shallow quarter. A 2012 states quarter. Alaska Denali National Park. That is the quarter. 2012. We weren't even supposed to be here in 2012 were we or i guess it was 2013 we weren't supposed to be here because december 21st of 2012 this was supposed to be the last quarter ever minted but yet here we are 2019 still finding quarters from 2012. i got a shallow nickel signal no that's not it there it is. 20, that's a piece of trash. 28, 29. One inch. 28, 29. 28, 29, 30 is pretty much where a nickel is on this one. Let's see what we get. One inch down. All right, ended up being a no-date buffalo. I do not see the date. You can see buffalo, the buffalo and five cents on the bottom, no problem, but I do not see a date. I'll get home and rub it, clean it off a little better, but I, I'm not, I don't think we're getting a date unless we do an acid treatment on it, and I don't really do that, so don't really care what the date is to be honest. If it's a key date, it's not worth anything. It's bubbled and cracked and jacked up, so there it is. A buffalo nickel at one inch. You gotta love this park, right? You gotta love it. All right, just dug a wheat penny in 1958, the last year they were made. Old Abe's really looking pretty bad on this side. The other side looks much better. You can still see one cent, and it actually has some of like the original copper look to it. It's pretty nice on the back side. It's not all jacked up, but boy, Abe took a beating though. He can't catch a break. 1958 wheat. Good stuff. Two wheats and a buffalo today. I'm happy. On to the next.